Hey guys, hope you're doing really well. Uh, welcome to Tall Crib. So, um, it's a quick video. Um, I usually try and do them in the morning when I'm out about. It's as you can see, it's dark outside. It's the end of the day, uh, but I want to try and get another, share a few more thoughts, um, some sort of bullish sentiment, really, of um, what I'm sort of thinking. I'm just trying to get a bit better light. Actually, it's a bit dark over there. Um, let me get back here. Um, I think. Listen, guys, if you're interested in talking about long long term growth long term wealth intergenerational wealth internet intergenerational sort of uh, perspectives um, and we're not talking about you know short term trading or anything like that but actually you're thinking okay you know I'm the type of investor that's interested in investing for the super super long term and hopefully I'll be able to pass something, you know, to my, you know, kids and grandkids and, and make a big difference to not only your lives, but their lives too. Um, th then I'm definitely the channel to watch because in all honesty, that is my perspective. Um, and I think it's important to be mindful of that because obviously we all, we've all got different goals and different ambitions and different aims in life. Um, and it's... I'm just going a bit crazy. I'm trying to get my thing all balanced here. Um, I need to actually just put this down and hold it rather than holding it with my holding it with my hand and uh, my arm getting achy. Anyway, um, that's always my perspective. So whenever I'm talking about things, I'm always thinking about a long-term perspective. And if that's of interest, then yeah, hundred percent. This you know, hopefully I'll be able to share some sort of nuggets of advice and share you know ideas or what I'm thinking about um, and on that point really um, wh what I want to talk about today is really what's the potential what is the potential of Bitcoin and and the price um, what could it look like in the future um, when you look at the cycles the four-year halving cycles some of you um, hopefully are sort of learning about that and understand what that is and, and what that means um, it's it's really interesting when you when you look at the graphs the I'm just going to try and remember the, the, the figures off the top of my head but from say the you know the first not obviously not the first half but when we started first seeing sort of some similar patterns it was really around about sort of 2012 2016 and then the 2020 and there starts to be sort of similar not, not obviously you think you know things rhyme but they don't repeat um, but when we look at the bottom from you know just ballpark figures when we look at the halving from 2012 to the peak I think it was from memory it went 100 to 100 to 10,000 I think so 100 to 1,000 and then just went over slightly 10,000. I'm talking round figures here, not exact. And then when we look at the, um, I'm, I'm, I've got the figures wrong, so you have to bear with me, but I'm, hopefully you'll get my point in a minute. So that more than, um, I think that halving did something like, I don't know, was it? I don't know, I can't remember. I won't try and um, guess without actually looking at the figures. Um, and then the second, then the next, not the second halving, but the next major halving, 2020, 2016, um, I think it went from, I'm just trying to remember off the top of my head, was it 1,000 to 10,000 um, from peak, again, round figures. Um, so again, another 10x. But this is, my, this is my point. And then obviously, sorry, and then the 2020, we went from 10,000, but we didn't make that 10x. We went to sort of 69,000. So if we just think about it for a second, um, uh, sorry, just on that point is, I, I think it was actually pulled short. I think it potentially was there to hit that 10,000 to 100,000, that 10X um, increase effectively. Um, but obviously we had uh, good old Sam Bankman Freud with uh, um, SBA, um, God, blimey, so you sort of escaped my mind. Um, what were they called? Anyway, it's escaped me. Um, but there was, there, was, there, was, there was loads of things that were happening. Unfortunately, that sort of uh, corrected the market and, and probably 
met the market didn't achieve possibly what it what it should have achieved um and oh blimey it's really annoying me now um yeah i can't remember. I'm afraid, it's the end of the day guys i'm tired i can't remember all these uh, you know all, all the details and it's, it's interesting because as much as i'm sort of following all all, uh, all all of these sort of uh news events and everything every day um i'm not you know, this is my first way of sort of manifesting it into some sort of, you know, verbalizing, you know, my, my thoughts. And I think often I find it easier to sort of write my thoughts um, and then, um, you know, consider my arguments and skin simple points. Whereas here, I'm just literally trying to just blurb out, you know, a few sort of points and snippets at the end of the day or the beginning of the day. Um, so apologies if, you know, it's, uh, it's not coming quite as well... Uh, articulators as I would hope but we'll hopefully get better as time goes on but my point is this Bitcoin has historically and will continue to do these jumps and these major jumps are for example when it went from a pound to ten pounds ten pounds to a hundred pounds hundred pounds to a thousand pounds thousand pounds so I'm talking about pounds not dollars a thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars it will do ten thousand dollars to a hundred thousand um, dollars, that's going to be that possibly should have been in the last cycle. So what does that mean now in this cycle? Are we at a point? You know, if 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 history repeats, or it rhymes, should I say? If history rhymes, but not necessarily repeats. Obviously, there's the arguments of um, diminishing returns. But effectively, all those percentage increases, and I know when the number sounds gets higher it seems inconceivable it seems absolutely ridiculous but the percentage increases or the, the you know those, that, those growth rates it's just a percentage so the numbers are in irrelevance so if it can go from 10 to 100 if it goes from 100 to a thousand from a thousand to ten thousand it will go from ten thousand to a hundred thousand and of course if it goes from a hundred thousand it's going to go Next step is a million. Is that possible in this cycle, in the next year, 18 months? I'm starting to think it could be. And, and, and that's really exciting. But it just seems slightly ridiculous, doesn't it? it? You know, you think, surely not, it can't do. It can't do. But why not? Ultimately, for me, long term, talking about long term right at the beginning, I see this as just the next revolutionary op opportunity that's right before our eyes. And we'll look back, as we do, if you've ever looked at the historical Bitcoin videos, they are fascinating to watch. Mm. Um, there's, there's videos on some guys doing Bitcoin mining and absolutely incredible and you need to watch those. But the key is, when you... <laughs> We've all done this. You look back and go, wow, if only I knew then what I knew you know. If I bought Bitcoin at $10, wow, I would have been a multimillionaire. Yes, you would. But history, I think, we're going to ca we'll carry on with this pattern and this, in this trajectory. So don't be that person who looks back and goes, oh, what if? So going back to my point, quite simply, if we're going to look at that potential where it's going to go from what it possibly should have been in the last cycle, around about 100,000, I think there's every opportunity and potential that it could exceed our wildest expectations. But of course, I don't think it's going to stop there. What happens at the million point? Well, I think Bitcoin carries on doing, doing its thing. I think it will carry on going from probably the next step will be, you guessed it, be 10, 10 million. It's, it's, it sounds absolutely obscene. It sounds ridiculous. It sounds like your mind's going to be blown. But, I've, but, but if it can go from 1 to 10, 10 to 100, 100 to 1,000, 1,000 to 10,000, 10,000 to 100,000, do you think it's actually going to stop? Adoption is only probably about 1 or 2%. It isn't stopping. So... When we actually start thinking about it, it starts to get slightly mind blown. But this goes back to my very point of long term. We're not talking about it's going to happen in a month. 
in, in a few months. And certainly these big things aren't gonna happen in a year or two years. You know, we're looking at multiple cycles, each cycle being four years. So if you have a long perspective, like I said right at the beginning, which is what I'm all about, and have a long outlook, you could be looking at insane intergenerational opportunities for you, your family, and, and your legacy. So let's just play these figures just for fun, all right? So let's say we could be crazy, it hits a million. Of course, it's probably gonna pull back. What's gonna happen after a million? Well, it's gonna have, we're gonna be looking at that 10 million. Next cycle after that, 100 million. And this is where it gets started interesting. And, and, it's, and I don't think it's gonna stop. I might be completely wrong. But what happens when it hits 100 million? Well, this is when, from, I think, yeah, calculations, every Satoshi is a pound. Okay, so one Satoshi will be, a, sorry, a dollar. So 100, 100 million Bitcoin, one Satoshi would be one dollar. So, if you dollar cost average, and this is this is the, this is the point. If people start thinking Bitcoin is at my price, I can't afford it. If you have a long enough time horizon, and you can have the foresight to look into the future, investing. Let's just you know play the figures. I don't know what was it. If investing, say a, a dollar a day, dollar cost average, one dollar a day. Most people, hopefully, would be able to afford one dollar a day. Obviously, there will be people, unfortunately, in some parts of the world who won't be able to. But I think most people probably could afford one dollar a day, certainly in the Western world. What does that buy you now? Oh, I don't know. What is it? It's probably going to be... I don't know. I don't know. Do it yourself. Have a look. But say it's a one and a half thousand Satoshis. So in, in 10, 12 years, when Bitcoin's $100 million, and like I said, it's not gonna stop, $1 a day now would be the equivalent of, and again, these figures might be slightly out, so do it, have a look yourself, would be like 1,500 quid a day. Like you've banked 10 years ago, and if you've done that every day, for a long, long time, your future self is going to look back and go, thank you for doing that. One dollar a day could turn into $1,500 a day, $2,000 a day, whatever the figure is, and obviously depending on what the Bitcoin price is. It's crazy when you think about it, isn't it? So I don't think anyone should have any excuse not to be buying Bitcoin at any price because your future self is going to thank you tenfold, a thousandfold. Um, and of course, a hundred million dollars, I think my math is correct. If you put a thousand pounds in now, that would turn into a million pounds, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. That would turn into a million dollars in what, three cycles, I think it, it worked out as. So if we go to say, so, so say say we should have hit 100,000 in the last cycle, this cycle, a year's time, say we hit a million, sounds crazy, but say we do. Next target, another f next year, four years, 10 million. Another four years, 100 million. So that is three cycles. The first one is cycle top so the first one is a year ish year and a half away another four years another four years so that's eight that's nine 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 and a half years nine and a half years now if you haven't got out a perspective to look out for nine and a half years to invest in for nine and a half years um you're completely mad if you ask me um i mean as an investor you should be investing your whole life if you're in your early 20s now you're so young if, by the time you're 30 your life's not gonna be much different. But you're gonna be so much better off if if you if you do look and have that long term horizon. Um, 
But why stop? Why stop investing when you're 30? You're 35, 40, 50? You know, I mean, absolutely, this, it, it, the opportunity is phenomenal. And I'm really excited and I'm super bullish. Um, but it's a long term play, guys. It really is. Um, yes, you know, you might want to look at, you know, coming in and out within, you know, the halving cycles. Yes, they might not happen again. Yes, there may be a super cycle. We don't know. Nobody knows. Maybe Bitcoin collapses and something happens. Who knows? There is a risk in everything that we do. But I think the biggest risk is actually not doing anything and just accepting that, you know what, I'm just going to put my money in the bank and just hope it'll be all okay <laughs> because it's not going to be. Um, you know, the money printing, the debasement of currency, everything get expensive, fuel get expensive, you know, if you, you name it, bills, this is the opportunity to have a, to opt into a new monetary system, which is not inflationary, it's deflationary. Your money is going to be increasing over time, forever. So take whatever I have just said with a, you know, whatever as a, you know, a bit of guidance from some random dude on the internet all day it's up to you um but uh yeah i'm super bullish guys but i th but just remember you know the price has gone from whatever it was 73 down to 68 everyone's going oh my god oh we're talking about you know 30 odd days ago it was probably i don't know what was it 40 or i can't remember off the top of my head or you know it's like let's get perspective guys you know we're at 68 still f unbelievable so you know it will go up it will go down zoom out don't worry about short-term blips um enjoy it if you are total cost averaging on with one dollar a day you actually want the price to come down because you can buy more so uh yeah listen guys i hope that was helpful a little bit bullish there a little bit thoughtful thinking about okay you know every step one to ten, ten to hundred, hundred to a thousand, thousand to ten thousand, ten thousand to a hundred thousand. Why? Why is it going to stop? Is it suddenly just going to reach that a, a limit? Some sort of artificial limit because there's just, it sounds like the number's high. The percentage increases are the same. Just the number gets bigger. And that's the power of it. So it's going to be exciting, guys. Listen, thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Like, subscribe. Keep tuned in. I'm going to try and just grab five minutes, ten minutes, wherever I can every single day. If I can, I probably will fail, you know, and, and not be able to make the one or two. But I'm going to try just to share a few of my thoughts. It also helps me verbalize my, my own thoughts um, and articulate um, what I'm thinking. Um, it's very different artic um, thinking of, or having an opinion and then being able to articulate it is, uh, is certainly a skill that I'm uh, yeah, looking to develop, um, certainly within the uh, Bitcoin and crypto space. So guys, listen, thanks so much again, and uh, keep tuned in, like, subscribe. Thank you again for all those new subscribers. Really, really do appreciate it, and uh, I'll catch you guys soon. Take care.